All right, so let's show, I'm gonna show you how to make those, um, that tr kind of like triangular looking thing. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can tell, it's actually not a complete triangle. Okay, so we have this portion right here, which is not curved at all. And you have a notch made here. This is supposed to be 13, obviously, and this is supposed to be 13. Okay, so you don't touch this top por portion right here. Just leave that alone. But we do want to make these lines, so I'll show you how to do that. The lines that we made, again, this distance is five. From here to here is five millimeters, okay? And these lines that we made across, coming from this side, all the way across to this side, as you can see, right, the base of all these troughs, or the, the trough of all these cutouts here, lines up right here perfectly. If we draw a line across, we go from right here, the edge of this line, right here, and we draw a line across to the edge of this line, that would be perfectly five mils, so let's just do that really quick. To take it over the end a bit, take it over the end and connect the dots. Just like that, okay. Okay, so that would be perfectly five mils from the top here. And then by doing that, if you connect this line to the bottom here of the center, and this to the bottom here, these would equate to be 13 exactly. So I'll show you that. We're gonna take the bottom up to this line here. Just like that. Just like that, okay. And also just something to keep in mind, you don't get marked off for having lines. So you can put lines anywhere you want as long as they're lines and they're not actually carved out, you won't get marked off. You don't get marked off for any lines. It's just the actual carvings and the smoothness of your carvings and the angulation that you make. That's what you get marked off, uh, marked on, not these lines. So it doesn't matter that this line's here. Okay, so here's your center line, eight mils. Three mils above it is that line that we made, even though we don't touch this portion here, right? So if you look at this picture, right, you're not gonna touch this top piece. What we're gonna do is we're gonna carve this out here and we're gonna carve this out here, okay? And again, we already have our line here, but I just, wanna, I just wanna exaggerate it so I can see it better. So I'm just gonna go like that. Okay, there we go, see? Now all of our lines are made for this exact carving right here. The most important thing is to get your lines down. This should take you no more than, well, preferably no more than 10 minutes. Okay, by the 10 minute mark, and that's, you know, kind of slow. You want to get this done definitely before 10 minutes. Okay, all of this. And you should be ready to make your fine cuts starting with the 10 minute mark, okay? So as I said, you look at your clock, your little wrist watch here, 10 minutes in, you better have this done. And if you can't do that in 10 minutes, you have to practice more. Definitely have to practice more. So get that down, perfect. Before you start, it's really important you take your ruler, okay? One more time. And um, you know, the stress is gonna be, it's gonna be piled up, you're gonna be nervous. <coughs> you might not even, you know, you might not be thinking straight and you might have marked up the wrong you know, the wrong dimensions. So before you make any of your cuts, it's really important to double check. So 25, 15, 20, and the last is 10. Let's make sure that that's absolutely on point. 25, good, next. 15, perfect, okay, the next. 20, good. The last one, 10, it's perfect, okay. So now we know that we actually didn't mess up and we're read, ready to make our cuts. You know, if you made this 20 by accident and then this 20 and then this 15 are just something you messed that up because you were really stressed out or anxious and you just weren't thinking straight, and it happens, believe me, it happens. Well, your whole, your whole soap is garbage. They're not gonna, you're gonna fail if you made the wrong carving. 
you have to make the correct carving. So that's why it's so crucial to make sure that your lines are perfect. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about here with this back triangle. We're gonna measure from there to there, 13 exactly. So that's perfect. Here and here, 13 exactly, see? So again, to make these 13, you're gonna take this line across from three mils up you're gonna take it across and you're gonna connect it with the other one from three mils up from the center point. All right, well, on to the next video.